We are with uh, Texas coach John Fields and uh, started the day in seventh place. Right now you're in fourth, John. I know you probably didn't like the way you finished, but your uh, 10 over for the day is the lowest round posted. It's tough out there, isn't it? It is, and that, that finish is very difficult as well. 16, 17, 18, with the wind coming out of the southeast, uh, very difficult finish. 18 especially, because if you don't hit a great drive there, Really, it's just damage control. Um, but the entire golf course, it's set up really fair. It's just a really great golf course, a U.S. Open style golf course with, with rough, fast greens, and uh, that's a combination for a major challenge. Now, obviously, when you, when you play well as a team, you've got some individuals playing pretty well. You've got a couple of players out there had uh, good days today, uh, Dylan Fratelli and Julio uh, Vegas. What about their rounds? Well, Julio's round was special today. He had it a couple under. Actually, I think he was probably three under uh, with a few holes to play and ended up one under. But uh, to shoot under par out here today was certainly a great round. And Dylan followed up his 69 yesterday with 71. And um, I'm sure he's at least in the top six or seven players out there right now. And uh, there's a lot of great players here. Um, a lot of great individuals, so to be in that group would be outstanding. Is it hard on a day like today? The, the golf course is actually playing almost three shots per player higher than it did yesterday. And is it hard to keep your guys focused on realizing that, hey, it's just tougher today. Don't think you're playing worse. Is that a, a constant battle for you as a coach? I think so. I, we've played here quite a few times, and, and we have so much respect for this golf course. Really any U.S. Open golf course that you play, you just have to have tremendous respect for it because at any given moment, it can jump up and take a piece out of you. Or uh, if you can manage to hit fairways and greens, it, the premium on accuracy out here is tremendous. And when you spice it up with a little bit of wind, you, patience is a tremendous key. We've talked about that with our players. In fact, we asked them to describe it in a word and patience was one of those that came up. So. It, they understand that. It doesn't make it sting any less when you finish maybe with a couple of bogeys or a double, but it is when you sit down and you finally analyze where you are in the tournament. What might have been is always what golfers say, but at the same time, today I think we played solid. We didn't finish the way we wanted to, but tomorrow we'll come back and try to do a better job. Anything that you're going to change in your game plan or are you going to take the same approach tomorrow? Oh, I think we'll take the same approach tomorrow. It's, Fairways and greens out here are just at a premium, and uh, especially coming in, and you can never let your guard down out here, because if you do, it will get you. Well, thanks for visiting with us, and good luck tomorrow. Okay, thanks, Mark.